This video is designed to help school staff develop expectations and procedures for use in their lunch line and in their lunch room. To explain how PBIS has positively affected AM Creative Art School in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, here is Principal Magley. Hi, this is Ruth Magley and I'm the principal here at AM Creative Art School. One of the things that we've put in place with our PBIS group, which is what we call Elm Way to Go, is a procedure for our cafeteria line. It was an area that we identified as a problem. Kids were not standing in line, they were being very loud, especially when they were coming in from recess. So the PBIS team, which is led by teachers in our building, came up with um, a solution. We have a blue line out there, we call it Shoe on Blue, and we ask the kids to stay on the blue line when they are in line. We also have large posters uh, and asking the kids to be quiet, be safe, respectful, responsible when they stand in line. And they have big signs that they, the teachers that watch the line uh, before the kids go into the cafeteria um, and walk up and down the line with that sign just as a reminder to students to be safe. He's got all of the out way to go rules. He had his face forward, he had his shoe on the blue, he came out with zippity doo dah clothes, and he had his sign up to remind his friend. Teachers walk up and down the line of students waiting to enter the cafeteria, holding large signs with reminders of expectations. The teachers also continually verbally remind students of the expectations. All students remain with their shoe on blue. Students are exhibiting the expectation, receive the universal acknowledgement of the AM Way to Go ticket. All staff carry around an acknowledgement to distribute to students in the line. Oh, nice and quiet right here in your bay is Cameron, what are you doing? You want an Elm way to go. Your eyes have not left my sign. Elm way to go. Look at me. Not up here yet. Our line's not up there yet. students that cannot handle it are pulled out of line and they do need to stand to the side. Um, it's, you know, nothing is perfect as you know and there are days that students do um, not follow the, the procedures but uh, we also wear uh, Elm uh, way to go around our neck and as students are behaving we do hand those out and that is another reminder for students to do an excellent now, job. When I see my friends doing what they're supposed to, my friend Kennedy, if she gets her hat back on her head, she's ready to join the line again because she's standing like she should. It is amazing uh, the turnaround that it has happened just because of this. So we're grateful for the PBIS and uh, giving us different strategies to use to make it work here at Elm. Um, a lot of people don't realize that Elm is a large school. We have 575 students. And so when we have lunch hours, we have a, a couple hundred children uh, eating at the same time. So it is quite a long lunch line. Staff continues to teach the expectations in the cafeteria and continue to actively supervise while carrying signs. If the cafeteria gets too loud, the lights are turned off and the students are expected to be silent. Staff also leads by example by being silent themselves while they continue to carry around signs which states the expectations. They also have a microphone in the cafeteria to address the students if needed and to dismiss the students at the end of the day. In review, the teachers at Elm walk around with large signs while students are in line. 
all students follow the shoe on blue expectation while in line. Teachers will also verbally remind students of the expectations. Students are acknowledged for following the expectations with the M way to go ticket. Students who are not following the expectations are removed from the line and can return when they follow the expectations. In the cafeteria, teachers actively supervise all students, and if the cafeteria gets too loud, the lights are turned off. When the lights are turned off, the teachers walk around the room in silence with the sign of expectation. They also have a microphone in the cafeteria to address the so, students. Uh, that's needed. what happens here at Elm, and I hope that you can glean some good ideas from this and uh, use these kind of things at your school too. Thank you.